Hey guys, it's Andre, and I'm here with my very first video tutorial of how to make a cool logo. Now, um, to do this, you'll need Photoshop, and that's just about it. So let's get started. You're going to click File, New, and make a new composition. We'll have the width to 1920 and the height to 1080, so Full HD, and make the resolution 100 pixels per inch. Click OK, and um, then we're going to select the Text tool and make sure that the font size is set to 150 and um, just try to have all these settings uh, you don't have to worry about the font though because the font is whatever you want it to be but I'm using Helvetica World so type in your name or whatever you want um, I'm just going to type in my YouTube username for my main channel The Andrenator and um, I'm going to make some slight adjustments to this um, I'll make the, the the of the Entrenator a lot thinner, and that already looks pretty good. But we're going to go a lot further with this. So after you've done that, you're going to duplicate the layer. Control J or um, right click duplicate. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to right click and click rasterize type. And what that is going to do is create a layer out of your text. So after you've done that, you're going to select your magic wand tool make sure that the tolerance is set to 30, anti-alias and contiguous are checked, and sample all layers is unchecked. Once you've done that, you're going to click in all these blank spaces. So here, and to select more, you hold down shift and click. And now that you've done that, you're going to go to select, modify, expand, and expand it by about 2 pixels. Click OK. And um, now we're going to grab the fill tool and if you can't see it hold down this button and then you can select between the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool but we want the paint bucket tool so you're going to click that double click and you should have it all set now make sure that you have anti-alias checked and continue contiguous unchecked to do this so you're going to click away now and um, you're going to duplicate the layer twice so right click duplicate layer OK. Right click, duplicate layer. OK. Now what we're going to do to this top layer is we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and set the lightness to around 40. So now we've turned this into a gray layer, but you can still see our other layers are black. So we're going to put this in between these two, and we're going to take this very bottom layer, make sure you have it selected, and you're going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And now set the Gaussian Blur to around 35 pixels and you can see you get this cool shadow effect from it. You can vary it to whatever you prefer but um, I think that's around a good number. So click OK and set the opacity of that to around 80. Now select your first layer and click the rectangular marquee tool. If you can't see a rectangle, do the same thing you did. Hold down the button and select the rectangular marquee tool. And now what we're going to do is just create lines and um, if you want to create more than one you hold down shift and drag and just create lines of various lengths and try to randomize it and make it look pretty cool. So once you've done that you're going to go to select, modify, and contract. Contract it by one pixel. Okay so once you've done that you're going to press delete and click away and as you can see you have this really cool effect. So we're almost there now, we just have a few more th things to do before we're completely done with this. So you're going to hold down shift and click the second layer, so now you have selected the black layer and the gray layer. And you're going to right click and press duplicate layers. Click OK. And now we're going to go to edit, transform, flip vertical. Make sure you have your selection tool selected, hold down shift, and then click and drag and place it directly underneath. Now that you've done that, we're going to select the rectangular marquee tool again and uh, just select one for now and um, select the bottom half of this. Um, let's make that a bit bigger. Now you're going to right click and press feather and feather it by around 30 pixels. Click OK and now press the delete key and select your second layer and press delete to that also. 
and now we have this cool reflection, but it looks a bit too noticeable, so we're going to set the opacity down to around 30 for both layers. Now the logo is basically done, but if you want to have a cool looking background, what you do is select your background layer, hold down the paint bucket tool, and select gradient tool, and now select your colors. Now we want to have a white color, well at least a bit off-white, and make sure your second color is set to around light gray. Now with your gradient tool selected, hold down shift, click, and drag down. And now you have this cool gradient effect. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, if you have any other suggestions for videos I should make, please leave a comment or send me a message. Thanks.